Hello everyone, this is Fabri Loen and welcome back. Um, over the past week, we heard that the legendary producer Koji Igarashi have left Konami. And this is one of those news that makes me really sad because it's almost like a father leaving a family in a way. Maybe not, not this dramatic, but in a way it is, if you think. Um, Koji Igarashi is today one of the main, if not the main figure of the entire Castlevania series. He started to work on it and had a big role since the Symphony of the Night. He was one of the main writers and a very important figure in the development of the game and after that he became basically the main producer of the entire franchise. So for Konami losing someone like Iga it's very, I think, uh, hard. In a way it's just like when other legendary producers like Shinji Mikami or um, Keiji Inafune left Capcom, for example, the creators of Resident Evil and Mega Man. I mean, these are people that are not easy to replace, and for this reason, I'm very curious, but I absolutely cannot predict what will happen to both Konami and Igesan. I mean, we'll see what the future uh, will hold for the Castlevania series now that it's probably main figure have left and what will um, Igarashi will do now that it will probably start its own company and its own project and for that of course I wish him all the luck in the world for both its company and its projects. The interesting thing is that soon after he left Konami of course he's been interviewed and everything and someone asked him a very very interesting question and it's like um, if it's possible, um, would you like to work together with Nintendo on the new Metroid game? That was already a very interesting question, but the thing is that Iga-san said, yes, I would love to. I mean, that was an incredible thing. If you think about it, Metroid, it's basically the series that inspired uh, the creation of Symphony of the Night in terms of gameplay and allowed the development of the so-called Metroidvania kind of gameplay and it's until now has been this, the staple of the Castlevania franchise that took place of the original side-scroll um, action uh, gameplay of the earlier, earlier games like on the NES and Super Nintendo. That's personally it's still my favorite even though I love the Metroidvania games, don't get me wrong, I love Symphony of the Night, um, all the Game Boy Advance in the S games, of course, but my favorite is still Super Castlevania 4. That's just me. But apart from that, the idea of Iga-san working on a new Metroid game together with Nintendo and other, the entire development team of Nintendo could be, I think, a very, very interesting move and project for the Metroid series. We have to remember, Metroid, now, today, it's kind of like stopped in a way. It's been, it's not really forgotten by Nintendo, but in a way it is because the last game we all know, Other M, was released in 2010. So it's already been four years that we don't have a new Metroid game. And the Metroid series is always, to me at least, always appeared like a sort of secondary or more hidden gem series by Nintendo. Obviously it's not, it's very famous, it's one of Nintendo main series, but the way it's always been treated um, and also the way that it's always for Nintendo about Mario, first of all, then Zelda, and then maybe Metroid, I mean, it's all about having priorities for Nintendo. And Metroid, although it's absolutely, I would say, adored by the fans, for example, I personally love the Metroid series. It's, I would say, my favorite Nintendo series together with Zelda. It's very difficult to say. I love all Nintendo series, that's why I'm a big Nintendo fan. But I can't wait for a new Metroid game. That's the, that's the thing. I mean, when the new Mario, that looks very nice, on the Wii U was released, I wasn't that... Excited, I mean, oh my god, yes, a new Mario game. I was like, oh wow, that's nice. Um, when I'll have my Wii U, I will probably play it. When, on the other hand, when the new Metroid game 
will be released. I will be like that. Yes, a new Metro game. Finally, I can wait to buy my Wii U for that. That's the thing. I mean, if you are a fan of Metro, you absolutely love it. If you're not, eh, of course, you don't really care. So, the thing is, also, it's interesting that Metroid, it's never been a console seller. That's the problem. Um, for example, Mario games or Zelda are console sellers for Nintendo. Metroid, it's not, even though it's, um, it's the series, it's gold for the fans. I mean, it's a cult hit for Nintendo. Some of the Metroid games are considered some of the best of the entire industry, like Super Metroid or the Prime Trilogy. They're all incredible masterpieces. Although they never sold very well. But that's another story. So I think that the possibility to have a, let a producer uh, like Igarashi would be very good for the Metroid series. First of all, you have a, like a top-notch producer like him. I mean, it, it's very good, obviously, what he does. Not that the Metroid team it's not, obviously, but it would be a great add to such an already good team. And also in terms like, it is very famous, so I think that many people will be curious to see what it will add to the Metroid, to a new Metroid game. So yes, I cannot wait for a new Metroid game on the Wii U. And if Igarashi will work on it, it's I think another reason, and one more reason actually, to wait and hope for a new Metroid game. Because I have to admit, I'll... I'm probably the first one that I'll, I'll, ever, I'll ever say this. I never heard anyone say this. I, re I like Other M a lot. I have a lot of fun. It was the last game that I bought brand new on the Wii. Nowadays I just buy games on the internet. But I was very excited when it was released. I love that game. I don't understand why people hate it so much. It would probably be just because Samus sometimes is quite annoying. I know, but... The game is very good, I love it. I had a lot of fun playing it. It's side-scroll Metroid, what else do you need? I mean, it's a sort of combination between Super Metroid and uh, the Prime Trilogy with the first-person view perspective on certain occasions. So, why it's so much eight? Just because she's annoying? I mean, I don't think that's enough reason to hate a Metroid game. And I don't think that it did so badly or it's so been criticized so much that it killed the franchise. I don't believe it. Just saying, like, something like Zelda 2 killed the Zelda franchise, it didn't happen. And I would love the idea, again, I will say this again, but I think it could be a great move by Nintendo. Everyone still always criticizes Nintendo these days, I cannot stand that. I mean, having someone like Hoji Igarashi working together with Nintendo on a Metroid game, I think that would be great. Many fans would probably turn their heads over Nintendo and say, well, pro I was probably wrong. Nintendo can still do really good, interesting projects, very good games, but we need something like this by Nintendo, I suppose. I mean, relying too much on Mario, it's okay, but you need something else, Nintendo. So, Metroid could be a good idea. We're, wa we're already waiting for the big titles on the Wii U, Smash, Mario Kart, the new Xenoblade, Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem, a very interesting crossover, I have to say. And we really need a new Metroid. That will be also a great way to improve the sales of the Wii U and to regain some fans that abandoned Nintendo for I don't know what reasons. But the contribution by a producer like Koji Garashi would be great. And I would like to know what you guys you guys think about this. Do you think it would be possible, actually, if Nintendo will realize that this could be a great move? Do you think not, that it's not necessary, because actually the Metroid team is really very good and doesn't need Igarashi? What do you think? Leave comments, video responses, whatever you want, just like always. And hope you guys enjoyed this video, and like always, take care.